We have a bunch of people we need to warn. So, let's go do that. And I have no idea where to search for her other than, I guess, the sewers. Which is, a. Uh... But it, it, it is funny it was Leazel. Out of all the people, it's one of the two people that are, are most alert. The one person who's constantly just has her weapon on her. Everyone else is like their weapons and stuff aside. They're just like, oh, I'm just, I'm just chilling in camp. And Leazel's the one with the sword in her hand. Looking paranoid as shit. Don't push. It's enough for every Oh, right. I guess I killed your dumb rats. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Okay. Say, I guess. Well, good luck not getting murdered, I guess. We got murder target Cora. Let's just go straight there. Excellent rhetorician. He's a man of the people, too. Ugh, no, he's not. Who's Cora? Cora. Why, hello there. Hello. Oh, we were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Oh, they do look ever so tasty. Huh? Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Ooh, dwarf. Metzli. Dwarf! And I'm Red. afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Medicine failed, motherfucker. Cora Hiberi, your life is in danger. Serial killer is after you. No. I must say, if this is a practical joke, it's not very amusing. Why, a serial killer? Oh, that's terrible. Master Metzley, are you quite all right? It was perfect. Perfect. Yep, it's perfect, you. Perfect, perfect. You have solid it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face, and I will peel it from your skull should you interfere again. Ooh. <laughs> I've got it. Why are you two still standing there? You need to run. Like, get the fuck out. I'm afraid if she takes damage and she AOEs, she'll, she'll fucking kill everybody, which isn't great. Muzzle rage. I'll be out of rages after this, but all right. Missed, but paralyzed anyways, cool. Oh, there's another one behind us. Sabertooth. Good for single target dealing with. Jesus. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm level 10, I get three attacks now. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Loose, the killings won't stop. <laughs> no one's stopping yet. Yep, no, you're right. <laughs> In my opinion, we should have a still watch in every Baldurian home. Why? I'm glad you asked. Oh, it's Christ, that lady's insane. <laughs> in term report, the Scarred Dwarf is a promising candidate for Unholy Assassin. Though he is personally crude, his method of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely. Shaller call. Okie dokes. Cora Highberry was the... Next on this list, and that is exactly who he was talking to. Figaro Pennygood, face maker, fashion, Lower City. Uh, Chef Ruver in Ufsong Tavern already talked to him. Figaro Pennygood. Well, you might as well just kind of go in whichever's closest to us. Murder target core. I guess we should go talk to her now, now that she's in, you know... I still can't believe... Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Frank Peartree, this says he's already been killed. Oh. If he's been killed, they might have replaced him with a doppelganger. Why don't we just retrace our steps? Great idea. Do you remember Area under investigation. Maintain, maintain your distance. Area under active investigation by order of the Flaming Fist. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why... Don't call me runt. Okay. Get out of our alley. Go on. Before I mic you. Okay. What the fuck's going on around here? Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. Oh, but surely we're safe with one of Nine Fingers' big strapping boys to protect us. That's her sigil on your ring, is it not? Eyes to yourself, elf. Uh, shall I tell Nine Fingers you refuse to let me pass? She'll be very unhappy. Oh, yeah. You're here to see Nine Fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscan. Never hears a list of special <laughs> guests. Confusing. Yeah, that does sound um, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine fingers is inside. Alright. In you go. Before I change my mind. Oh shit. I'm giving them aspect of the elk. Oh, it's Mo. Mo, what's up? Nine fingers invited. Wow, look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? Yeah, how'd you escape Moonrise? 
I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Uh, what'd you get? Oh, I've got a few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? A bit of both. What do you got? Okay. Sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me? Uh, sure. See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Are they up? I guess they're up here. Lady Agu, Agi Agrair, Handfeather, Lady Croup, Lady Flux. <sighs> that dude's cheeks fucking off into the distance. Because why not? Don't mind the lady's court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. Okay. I guess in here. There it is, nine fingers. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection. At the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. Oh, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Hi there. I'm a friend of Jahira's. Passing by, I heard you were served good food down here. <laughs> oh, just exploring the local sewer life. You know how it is. <laughs> Passerby heard you serve good food down here. Ha! Oh, the best in the city, under or above. So smart a mouth as yours would enjoy it, provided you keep all your teeth. We won't tax your hospitality too long, Nine Fingers. I'm searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak, or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. The Stone Lord. Lies. I am extremely convinced Minx is impossible to turn. His brain is so fucking addled, any tadpole inside there would just shrivel up and die. <clears throat> Let's see here. 
Stone Lord, new gang boss, your name people are so afraid of? Exactly the one. Guild crews may be prone to exaggeration, but not in this case. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. Mm. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but... This fight's too big for you alone. She's not alone. She has me. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira... Well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. Well, shit. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. Where you suggest we begin? I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guildhall is awash with ill scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. Alright. Well, I said wildlife and she meant people, but I'm looking for animals. Are there rats? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps a kitty cat? Mm -hmm. Who might be persuaded to talk? Well, that's a dead fish. Not quite something I'm going to be talking to. The guild and the network have been circling like stray dogs for years. About time we lay down together. Hmm? Good talk. Good, good talk. Great. Super, super great talk. It's very informative. The professor. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hall? The names ring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. <laughs> the worm skulls. Uh, consider me an independent operator. In between scores, then. Oh, there's no shame in that. This Stone Lord business has even the bigger crews shutting up shop for a while. Fair warning, the Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Uh, you're so sure the Stone Lord is going to be is going to attack? Well, whoever he is, he doesn't seem very keen on talking. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the Guildmaster, maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? Fair enough. There's literally, like, no animals anywhere. That sucks. You are not known to me. For supplies, seek the bugbear. To trade trinkets, the fetchers brats. I am Ukta, duly elected guild bursar, and I will not have my time wasted. Oh, is that what Nine Fingers was doing earlier? Wasting guild time with this Stone Lord business? Mm -hmm. You might say so, but I could not possibly comment. <laughs> I sense there is no love lost between the two of you. I need not love to serve. You have a point you wish to make? There we go, yeah. The quicker I deal with the Stone Lord, the quicker Nine Fingers gets back to business. Hmm. I have not come so far by indulging in petty disputes. But 
I am open to transactions of mutual benefit. I am interested in gaining access to vaults beneath the counting house. I'd pay well for keys to those vaults. Provided said vaults are not emptied prematurely, of course. <laughs> I suspect that what you seek might also be found beneath the counting house. I tell you this only as a matter of mutual interest. She plans to ambush Minsk at the counting house. But what the hells would he want there? What you do with that information is a matter for yourself. Now, back to the vault keys. Do we have business to conduct? Uh, okay, so he said an or That's an orc. Did you say a bugbear? Someone else is a merchant here. Who is it? Uh, well, I guess the bugbear was behind the... Here. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? Mm. What do you have then? Beverages of distinction, or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How are you feeling today? Lucky? Let's see the liquor list. Drunken cloth. Ah, uh, okay. Time to go warn more people about stuff. Not sure what all these guys are doing here. Oof. Missing a little light in your life. Not a good mix. I buy the fight. Oh, investigate the food. Okay. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And a light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent. Now remember, Philokia's fireworks accepts no liability for singe nails, <laughs> toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, you there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha. Uh -huh. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the absolute. I have a special sample. Available just for you, if you wish. Sure, why not? This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly, and nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, pa, recall the password. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Yes, yes, he's just upstairs, but only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Uh, I received three items, and they look like they are arrow, big old explody boy arrows. Where are those? Ooh. Smoke powder arrow. Shoot an arrow full of explosive powder, pushing the target back 10 feet. 46 fire and 46 force. Christ, 8 to 48 damage. That's a hefty boy. Pressure steady. Are we at temperature yet? Good. Maintaining temperature. Another friend of Felagir? All right. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Looking to buy a little something extra then? Yeah, what do you got? Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. Oh, for purists, you say? Fancy. Don't jostle any of the merchants. Yeah, yeah, don't trust only the merchandise. Eight, nine, ten. Maybe a few dead cats. 
Employees ah. only pass, dear. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring anywhere. them down to you. Oh, but Garlic did. Oh, hey, cool. Pilper point. Awaken, little one. Flower and bloom as I know you can. Are we at temperature yet? So what exactly did you say? Behold, this tree is plagued by pestilence yet refuses to die. The goddess Shantia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. Not enough space. Okay. You can't climb on these ones? No, you totally can. Oh, so Will can just magic his ass up this way, huh? But I can't. What the hell did she just do? Why'd she pick that up? Shantia, bless these roots. I feel like this could get us up there. I feel like that's what it's intended for. But I don't see how you do it. <laughs> Stop taking. Shantia, there we go. Bless these. Tempers are rising. It's clear not every. Yeah, whatever. What? What? The why do they keep? Gone to pot why do they keep taking those boxes? <laughs> why do they keep doing that? All right, I'm gonna try something little on the steeper side, and we are going to be a kitty cat. Just a little kitty, kitty cat, kitty cat. Just a little kitty cat, kitty cat. Yeah. Stone Lord, the killer. Now, as a kitty cat, I should have gone panther and I just gone fucking invisible, but. Gone for oh. failure on a creep. Good. All fingers oh. intact. Just a little kitty, 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 kitty cat. Okay, hold on. So I got I got up here. Baldur's Gate. We reached the top floor of Flay's fireworks and discovered Banite, Banite cultists assembling explosive. We need to stop Maintaining them. Maintaining temperature. Steady at the moment. Right. I need to find a way to get up here without killing everybody on the way up. I feel like... I feel like this whole place is just ready to blow up. You know? Yeah, I don't... I honestly cannot think of a single way to get up here other than here, but this screams like it's intended to be a way to get up. But maybe it's just a way to get down once we get up here. I don't know. Well, this is just not going to work. We're going to, I got it saved. I got it saved. We're going to do, we're going to do this a little differently. Nope. I was going to say, he's not going to stay stealthed at all. I need a bomb I can time. I need something I can time and drop it and get the fuck out. Nothing works that way. Everything is is instant explosions. I, they, like even even the bombs are instant explosions. I just have to set them off. So that's what we're doing. Not oh, for fuck's sake. May the gods take you first. Hey, the plan I kind of had in my head that, that I couldn't get to work right. It kind of worked. I kind of figured when I when this place blows up, it'll really blow up. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he just suicided everybody in there. Like, that's everybody. Don't just stand there. Please get off the roof. You're literally in a place we cannot get to. I don't want this combat going on forever because you refuse to leave. Alright. 
temperature yet. Just to be sure. We're gonna drop this here. Huh? Uh oh. Spaghettios. Oh shit. Holy shit. There. Steady. Any spillage, and they'll be picking my teeth out of the roof beams. Where's an apprentice when you need one? You sought a fight, and now you have one. Use the ambush turn we have here. Okay, uh, we are gonna throw firewall up. There we go. Maybe she can't get to the roof now, like she did last time. Ugh. Stand there? Oh, dude, he got thrown out the window and survived. Wow. That's impressive. No cloud kill, thank you very much. Yeah, took damage. Okay, so Firewall, for whatever reason, is reaching a level lower than it's supposed to, but it's not reaching three levels lower. Okay. Legitimate <laughs> salvage. Look at legitimate salvage, yeah. Missy stepped back down the stairs. Fair enough. Well, if it's gonna be that way. Swift as my feet can carry me. Run out of here. What are you going to? <laughs> Ooh, two down. She's the one who survived, huh? Yeah. I think we have given offense. Well, they're bayonets. Their whole thing is offense. What the fuck? How? I mean, we survived, so that's cool. But how? How did the giant fire there 
not trigger all of this, but the tiny little fireball that hit her did. Is what it is. Come on, fireball guy. And there's the guy outside and the lady outside who, or the lady ran outside anyway. Owlbear in the way. Guess can't do enough with her. Throw. No, I don't want to throw shoes. Were those shoes? Those are, those are his leather boots. No, don't throw those. Right here. Get rid of that fire. I don't know why I took fire. Water was hit for three fire damage. <laughs> okay. She just lost rage on someone else's turn. I guess technically it was the end of our group's turn. So I do, uh, yeah, that makes sense the way that worked. I moved under 20 feet. You're supposed to have 40 feet. I'm supposed to have 40 feet of movement as an owl bear, and I should have five extra. Where, how much movement do I have? 35? That's wrong. That does explain a lot, though. And she keeps commanding him to do something. Hey, he jumped. No one else died outside. Yeah, everyone ever. <laughs> I was not expecting jumping upstairs to uh, nuking the entire downstairs, but it's it is what it is. that key for storage key. is there a basement there might be a basement this book contains several recipes for bespoke firework concoctions and appears to have been written with the intent of being mass produced ah delight this is the point of the entire art of fireworks and chant to move yeah, okay my dear fellow ever Avery you've done well so far but do allow the production of Smoke powder to flag. What? Do a lot of the production of smoke powder to flag. No one will question a firework shortage in case of crisis. Never fear, my friend. I'll take personal interest in your shop to cover any lost income. My sincerest wishes for your success, G. Counting house vault N5. Firework cellar key. Workshop key. Okay. Tomorrow. I know our toy maker friend is part of the cause, but what I have seen is worryingly trust unsubtle. The last thing we want is to be held accountable for his activities. If he comes in looking for more stock, tell him we're under supplied. I'd rather not have the shop's good name ruined, Avery. Huh. Installation report. 
installation of self-destruct element in the Iron Throne was successful. Used majority of explosive ordered. No questions asked, none answered. Gortash will be pleased. This is what? a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. What? Talk my way out of it? What even is trespassing when you think about it? It's just being in a place. Where's the crime in that? <laughs> yeah, where's where's the crime in just existing in a place, man? Come on, dude. Ooh, there we go. Your conviction is enough. This will be taken no further. Nonetheless, this area remains forbidden. Best not try that again, lest your actions speak louder than your words. I have no, I'm just, I'm trying to just, just walk out of here. Is there, here we are. Let's go down here. Stop me yet. Boy, that wall looks like a secret wall. Ooh, there's a lever. That's good. It's gonna open that door, right? There. Yeah, I thought so. Step carefully. There's a trap. Trap and a lot of fire wine bottles or uh, barrels. Or are those just explode. Those might just be exploding barrels. Yep, smoke powders. Eat it. So it's just a secret location with a ton of smoke powder? Okay. Fair enough. No. Yeah, it makes sense for door goes. I mean, that's another secret door right there. <laughs> it's, it's it's so obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to that later. We got people to warn. My God, is that Fitz? Eh? Who's Fitz? Carlach Cliffgate. That can't possibly be you, can it? <gasps> Fitz, if you want a sight for sore eyes, where the hell's have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ah, that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you. The years have been good to you. I won't lie. They have. Yeah, I'll let them catch up. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first. You saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlach, we have a little one on the way. That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. <laughs> Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one. Are the two of you together? Uh-huh. Isn't he handsome? Absolutely. Covered in blood. You're well suited. I can tell just by looking at you. Pleasure to meet you, by the way. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Okie dokie. What does she have? Elements of an epoch. Depending on what kind of damage this weapon does, it also inflicts what? Depending on what kind of damage the weapon does. 
What does that mean? Acid condition, chilled condition, or burning condition. Uh, what is going on? This shit just keeps breaking in the background. The dead chat. Improved critical. The number of the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Keen attack. The wielder doubles their proficiency bonus when rolling range attack with this weapon, unless they have disadvantage. Weapon enchantment plus two. Holy balls. That's pretty solid. I am buying that. Okay, it's a cat. The noise I'm hearing is a cat appearing and then exploding and going away. Christ. I was wondering what the hell that was. Hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step, save the city. Then, save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for?